Hey, what's going on? My name is Sweetie Gates. Yo, this is Randall from Lego Masters. You are watching Talk Bricks. You are watching Talk Bricks. Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to Talk Bricks. Today we're talking This Week in Bonus Lego News, where every Saturday I bring you the Lego stories you need to know. We've got another huge week with rumors coming out of Star Wars and Marvel, seven brand new Monkey Kid sets, plus all the epic Black Friday deals that are still going on now. This video is brought to you by my Lego Masters podcast, Talk Bricks Masters. This week I talked to season two contestants Randall and Sarita about their time on the show and break down every episode. And you can listen this episode on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or more using the links in the description below. And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with Lego deals from Amazon and across the web. So if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First up at Target, the Lego Creator 3 in 1 Monster Burger Truck is 51% off. Plus, The Bird of Paradise, Gallimimus and Pterodon Breakout Fun, Harry Potter and Hermione, and King Boo and the Haunted Yard sets are 30% off. Next at Amazon, the Lego Super Mario Master Your Adventure Maker Set, Penguin Power Up, and Tanuki Power Ups are all 40% off. And Bowser's Castle Boss Bat and a tons of other LEGO Super Mario sets are all 30% off too. From LEGO Star Wars, The Mandalorian and the Child Brickheads are 40% off. And LEGO Art the Sith, The Millennium Falcon Microfighter, and The Resistance Y-Wing Starfighter are all 30% off. The LEGO Art Marilyn Monroe is 40% off, and the LEGO Minecraft Coral Reef is 30% off. Plus it calls the Batman Joker Strike Chase, Ninjago Ninja Tuner Car, and LEGO City Monster Truck sets are all 30% off. Plus Black Friday at LEGO is still going on. You can get this free Santa's Front Yard set with purchases over $170, and in store you can get the free Christmas tree poly bag with purchases over $40. You can get three times VIP points on the Queer Eye Loft set, plus they've got some sets on sale. Plus, there's even more for Cyber Monday. You can get a free LEGO VIP fleece blanket with purchases over $200. You can use your VIP points to save 30% on a $5 voucher. Plus, enter for your chance to win 1 million points. So if you want to pick up these deals and support the channel, there's links in the description below. You may be familiar with these LEGO accessory packs that we've gotten for themes like Spider-Man and Harry Potter, but it looks like we're going to be getting two for Star Wars. The first one is said to be based off of Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. It includes three armed clones troopers, a forward post, and accessory rifle rack. Getting a pseudo-clone battle pack is definitely going to be popular amongst fans, and this armored trooper may even include some different accessories. As of now, it's unclear if any of the troopers will be named, like Captain Rex or Captain Cody, so we'll have to wait and see about that. The other accessory set will be based off of the Battle of Hoth, and feature three Hoth Rebel troopers, which is great because there was only one Hoth Rebel trooper included in the upcoming Hoth ATST. The set's rumored to include two repeating blaster cannons and a 1.4 FDP tower. And now I feel like the only thing we're really missing is a proper snowspeeder. Next up this week, LEGO revealed seven brand new 2022 Monkey Kid sets all coming out in January. So let's break them all down. First up, we've got the City of Lanterns with 2,187 pieces, retailing for $150. This set was the standout for me as it definitely gives me that Ninjago City vibe, as it features similar multiple levels of colorful shops and really great details. And great Easter eggs like the Monorail, Bionicle, and Hero Factory logos on the left and the Snap logo on the right. Right. The backs are open for more play inside, and I just love this pigsy people mover style elevated train that we see here. Plus, all the builds for the individual shops can be lifted out of the main structure and put side by side like a modular street. Here at the left, we can see a small Lego store build with oversized Lego bricks and a model for Brickley the Dragon. And on the inside, we can see miniature versions of classic sets from Paradisa, Pirates, Space, Adventures, Classic Castle, and more. At the center, there's this awesome restaurant with tons of cool details, especially especially that huge sign. And the interior has all sorts of food and tables, and I especially love the new chopsticks piece. Here on the left, we've got the Lotus Hotel with a cool lotus flower at the top, and of course the cute panda store on the right. Plus a bubble tea cafe, the KTV karaoke booth, and so many more areas. This set comes with nine characters, including Mr. Tang, May in a new outfit, the train driver, Han, and Monkey Kid in a tourist outfit. Plus Pigsy in a new outfit, two city bots, and Huang. Next, we've got the previously revealed Monkey Kid's Galactic Explorer with 1,356 pieces, retailing for $130. The Galactic Explorer looks like an amazing space shuttle with unique colors and interesting building techniques. The front sections can be lifted off to place minifigures inside, and I love that there's room for all the characters. And you can rotate the lower section to reveal the Moon Rover and the Green Flame Ring. Plus there's a nice launch pad with Octan tanks, storage for the helmets, and satellite dishes. And it's just crazy that they're going to space this season. This set includes seven characters, including Monkey Kid, May, and Mr. Tang in spacesuits, plus a minifigure version of Sandy in a spacesuit. There's a buildable version of Robot Mo and two Shadow Monkeys with Rumble and Savage. Next
Next up, we've got Jangha Moon Cake Factory with 609 pieces retailing for $70. This set features a cake factory on a moon base and features tons of funny bunny details. I love this build for the rabbit mech. There are stud shooters on either side and I love how it can be piloted by the two bunnies. There's also a nice build for the moon base itself with the live streaming platform and this carrot shaped rocket. This set includes four characters with Mo and Pigsy in that spacesuit. Plus my favorites, the lunar rabbit robot and that awesome figure for Changa with that great new hairpiece. Next up, we've got Nuja's Fire with 929 pieces retailing for $100. This set comes with tons of characters and components, but of course the standout is Nuja's fire ring. The build here is super cool with that giant gold ring. Plus there's another cool build for a macaque's jet flyer. At the center is the throne for the white bone demon who looks really epic there with that cage for the monkey king. And there's just definitely a lot going on in this one. This set includes six minifigures plus a skeleton. On the right we've got Nuja with a great new hairpiece, plus monkey kid with epic printing and monkey king. Plus we've got a new version of Macaque with that great new hairpiece, the Shadow Monkey Savage, and the White Bone Demon. Next up, we've got Evil Macaque's Mech with 893 pieces retailing for $80. This monkey-themed mech looks really great with its dark black and dark red color scheme, and it really does look like an evil version of the Monkey King mech that we got in the original wave. There's some nice posability, and I like how the staff can be put on the back or held in the hands, and Monkey Kid can fight back with this cannon. This set includes five minifigures with Evil Macaque, Rumble, the Mini figure version of Sandy and new versions of May and Monkey Kid. Next up, we've got May's Dragon Car with 456 pieces retailing for $50. This set features another new vehicle for May, which really looks like a dragon with that head at the front and the claws on the front tires. And that yellow green color you see by the claws and on May's torso it does seem to be a new color. And you can fire this green projectile out the front. This set also features a cloud board for Monkey Kid and this strike for the Shadow Monkeys. And in this set, we've got Rumble, Savage, May, and Monkey Kid. And finally, we've got Monkey Kid's staff creations with 309 pieces retailing for $35. With this set, you can build a mech, a plane, and a car, but all the pieces have different connection points to be swapped around to make all sorts of variations. While these sorts of creative play sets aren't for everyone, this one does come with some new and currently exclusive pieces, which is pretty cool. Plus, you get this training version of Monkey Kid and Monkey King. All these sets will be available January 1st, and if you want to pick them up and support the channel, there's links in the description below. Next up, we got some rumors of some new LEGO brick sketches coming out. We've gotten some from Disney and Star Wars, but for superheroes so far only DC. We're finally going to be getting some brick sketches for Lego Marvel. The first one we'll be getting is for Iron Man and after getting one for Batman this one makes perfect sense and I think would look really great. And the other one is going to be for Miles Morales Spider-Man which I think is a pretty fun choice compared to the standard Peter Parker version. We're also going to be getting more brick heads and after the 150th contest where Star Wars was chosen Ahsoka will be coming out in January. We've gotten a few dog breeds in the Lego Pets line but it looks like the same Bernard and French Bulldog will be the next dog breeds to be chosen. We'll also be getting another Brickhead for Chinese New Year, and just like we got the Dragon Dance Brickhead previously, this time we're going to be getting a Lion Dance Brickhead. And speaking of Chinese New Year, in January we're going to be getting a continuation of the Year of the Series of Gift with Purchase, this time for the Year of the Tiger. And thanks to a declaration from LEGO, we've got our first look at what the set's going to look like, and I think they did a nice job with this one. Next up, Black Friday marked the release of the Ultimate Collector Series at AT. But if you go and check out the product page, you'll see that it is temporarily out of stock. According to the Brick Fan, LEGO Support has said that they are currently out of stock and they don't expect to get any more until actually after the holidays. LEGO is advising that people sign up for their in-stock alerts, but we'll have to see when this set comes back available. And I, like many other fans, am very curious to see if the Luke Skywalker's lightsaber promotion will be back when the set's back in stock, but we'll have to wait and see. Next up in LEGO Ideas News, there were two more projects that hit 10,000 supporters on the platform this week. First up, we've got Castle Outpost, which aims to bring back that classic castle theme with a display-worthy model. The build itself is highly detailed, and I especially love all the great stonework and the details around the turrets. But interestingly, this set is modular and seems to be able to be reconfigured. There's of course a ton of interior spaces with a kitchen, living quarters, the Lord of the Castle's room, the armory, and the prison. Plus, there's functioning catapults and an openable gate. A lot of medieval projects seem to be hitting 10,000 supporters recently, but with the medieval blacksmith still on the market, I'm curious to see how this one will do. Next up, we've got Downtown Records, which is a modular building style record store. Like most of these modular projects, it's fully detailed, but I really like how simple and just clean this one feels. There's great street level details with the street light, the tree, and the newsstand, but of course there's tons of interior detail for the shop as well. Just like other modular buildings, there's an apartment upstairs, and just some really nice detail with the spiral staircase out back. And on the whole, I do think 
think that a modular record store would do well in a Lego city, but I'm very curious because most modular building projects don't seem to make it past review. But as always, we'll have to wait and see. So there you have it, folks. That was this week in bonus Lego news, and it was a really fun week with all the Black Friday deals and these fun set reveals. I'm personally really excited about the new Star Wars sets for next year, and I may have to pick up some of those Monkey Kid sets because they're just so inventive and silly. Not to mention if there's more brick sketches or brick heads, you know I'm in. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below as it really helps others find the channel, and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next Saturday with even more Lego news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories, and which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations, and be sure to email me from the about page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win, and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted, because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks, and have a good one! Hey guys, Michael here. Click to watch last week's video featuring Star Wars, Marvel, and new rumors around Back to the Future and Stranger Things, and don't forget to subscribe.